Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. and <laughs> I have an unboxing for you today, but as you can tell, it's already been somewhat unboxed. This is attempt number two at this video, and you get to miss out on me tearing into brown paper and bubble wrap and fighting with the dog every time a piece of it fell on the ground and she decided to attack it and all that good stuff because my dog loves bubble wrap and packaging. So, we're going to try again, because that video just was not going so well. I kept thinking, ah, that wasn't so bad, I can keep going. Nah, that wasn't so bad, let me go a little bit longer, until finally there was enough there. I was like, okay, let's start over. And I'm not going to try to reproduce the packaging and all that. We'll just jump in right where I left off. So, I've had a rough day at work, um, and I feel so far behind, and I was looking for a pick-me-up. So my pick-me-up was for me to finally break open to this box that I've been staring at for over a week. So I bought this for myself for my birthday, which was April 4th, and now we're at April 15th. Tax day for the U.S. for anybody out there stuck doing their taxes today. Maybe you're having a bad day too. So I wanted to make my day brighter by finally breaking into this kit and maybe in the process, hanging out here with a, another video where we show cool diamond paintings, maybe it'll brighten your day a little bit as well. I hope so. So what we have here is a Diamond Art Club painting that I bought on a D-Stash group. And on the first attempt at this video, I did provide a couple things to watch out for if you do buy on D-Stash groups. I've done it several times now, and every time has been very positive, and this one was as well, because this was completely sealed when I got it, completely unopened, arrived wrapped in brown paper and bubble wrap, got here safely. So, as uh, many of you know, a lot of the premium diamond painting companies either lose licensing with artists or for whatever reason they do uh, sometimes have to discontinue or archive certain paintings. And sometimes if you come in to diamond painting a little late after stuff has been discontinued, it's hard to get a hold of. So really the best way to get some of those paintings is on these stash groups. Now you might have to pay a little bit more, especially for some of the, the really high-end artists that everybody wants but that's it's up to the value that you put in that painting on what you're going to pay but there are a few safety precautions and probably the number one rule for all these different d-stash sites is read the rules and abide by them and those rules they they may seem like a lot but it's to protect everybody from the scammers because there are a lot of scammers that will try to infiltrate various selling groups and diamond painting is no exception to that and one of the biggest things i can say is to pay with paypal goods and services rather than friends and family because that is one of the ways you can protect yourself and get your money back if something does go sideways but this was a case where if you watch my josephine wall stash video there was one painting that i was looking for that wasn't in my stash call it my unicorn uh, for those that know that term, or uh, from Diamonds and Washi, maybe Rainy Day Kit, if you've heard about that. So I've had a rainy day, and I would like to break open and maybe even start my Rainy Day Kit. I only have one true Rainy Day Kit, and this is it. So without further ado, I'm sure you're tired of listening to me just talk. What do we have here? We have Spirit of Flight from Josephine Wall. Now, I found Diamond Art Club after Josephine Wall was no longer licensed with them, so I could not buy in any of her kits in real time. So the only way to get them for me is D-Stash Groups. And this was the one that I wanted in my collection that I did not have, and I've never done a Diamond Art Club Josephine Wall. Now, each company has different ways and styles of rendering. And Diamond Art Club for... Um, Oh, I'm trying to figure out a way to describe it. Their rendering is a little more, I don't want to use a bad word like harsh, but it's a little more, um, oh, you guys help me out. Tell me the word I'm looking for. Put it in the comments. Now, they're, they're a little more uh, cleaner, maybe is, is a word, 
They don't have a lot of softness in their rendering. They have a lot of clean lines, uh, like the if you think of any of the Mandy Manzanos with the the stained glass look with the black outlining, they do a lot of outlining and filling in type stuff and not as much confetti, although they do have confetti, don't get me wrong, but uh, their, their rendering is just a little bit different. And so it was a different style than what I'm used to for Josephine Wall. I usually get mine from Diamond Painting Deutschland, the one with the diamond art, and there's a little bit more softness to the outlines of the different items in the pictures, the different things in the pictures, like the butterflies and the flowers, all that. There's a little more softness and blending because they're using over 200 colors in those canvases, which does allow for a little bit more of that. So Diamond Art Club typically is in the 60 to 80 color range, which means that their stuff doesn't necessarily blend quite as much. It's a little bit sharper on the detail. I think that's a word I'm looking for. Uh, a little bit sharper lines. But in any case, I did not have a single Diamond Art Club Josephine wall, and I wanted one, and this was a particular one that I wanted. So I happened to be awake late at night in bed, and I caught one on a D-Stash group for a very reasonable price in the middle of the night. And it just so happens that the person on the other end was also awake late at night. And we made the transaction and the deal probably 1 to 2 in the morning on the night pretty soon after she put it up. So I got Spirit of Flight through the D-Stash group for, I believe I paid $125. And that included shipping. So... I'm sure you don't want to hear all the stories. Let's get on to the diamond painting, which is what you're probably here for. So this is one of the signs that this is an older Diamond Art Club kit because it has the older tool kit. And the tool kits used to come in this clear plastic bag. Let's see what an older tool kit has. Lots and lots of baggies. Boy, that's a big handful of baggies, which I do use for my spare diamonds. We have a small clear tray, not the same larger size. Here, I'll show a difference there. So you can kind of see the little clear tray. And then we have a squishy and a pen. And the tweezers here. And they are a little bit smaller than the newer tweezers, still very sharp. So you want to keep the cover on. And you guys have seen enough unboxings probably that I won't go into the details here, but we got two pads of wax and looks like maybe a three or four placer, but it is the thin plastic there. So that is the older tool kit. So if you buy some of these older kits, don't be disappointed when you either find no tool kit because a lot of them sell that way on the D-Stash groups because people take the tool kits out of them but you also won't get the washi tape and the cover minder and all that. But this is still plenty to do a, a diamond painting. But this is a way you can tell from one of the older kits to the newer kits. But they still have the plastic cover. Let's see. I believe the canvas is still going to be the soft material. Yes, it is. Scalloped edges. Oops. All that good stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and just unroll this canvas first so we can take a closer look and then let's see what's in here. So the instruction sheet is much smaller, but you still have the thank you, the discount codes, the instructions, the social media information, the website, everything you need on that. And I do have the sticker sheet here, and this one is 66 colors there. And you have the picture for your logbook or whatever you want to do with that picture. So the size of this is 106 by 70, so it is a big one. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I was really on a roll recording and my dogs decided to suddenly be difficult. I'm the only one in the house tonight human-wise, so I thought this would be a good time to record a video. Most of mine I do late at night because we do live 
next to a state park and have a lot of deer and wildlife that pops in around the backyard and makes my dog go nuts in the evenings. And I thought it would be okay, but it wasn't. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> so this is, I believe, is where we left off with the dogs barking. So we have two ABs with this kit. They are number 129 here and 141 they are the numbers that come before 150 on here they are ab stands for aurora borealis that's the mirror finish that you get on some of the the fancy drills and we have 66 colors now that's not a lot of bling for this one so i will probably be adding my own bling to this i do have several in my stash that i could add to it but this was an older kit, so you expect there to not be as much of the newer bling that's available these days. So I did go <laughs> start opening the drills and going through them when I decided the dogs were finally just making way too much noise for me to, to deal with. But let's take a quick look at the colors. I won't go into all of them. But they do have what looks like little holes punched in the bags. And I believe these are the older drills. I'm not sure if they're acrylic or resin. I suspect they're acrylic given the older toolkit, but I could be wrong about that. But there are holes in the bags, and those are done to, I believe, uh, get rid of air pockets in there and also possibly even keep some of the static down. I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard, but I really don't know. So we have lots of gray here. A lot of um, earth tonish gray type colors in this one. A lot of 844. 310 is only one bag, but two big bags of 3371 for that really dark brown color instead of the harsher black. And we have lots of browns here, tans, oranges, a lot of earth tone type colors with this kit. More browns. Days. It's not the most colorful kit, but it's still amazing to me. I love the feathers. I love the look of this kit, which is why I was willing to try to get this one. Lots more browns. It's almost like a fall color feel, but I don't want to wait for the fall to work on it. Then we do have a little bit of purple and green. More $37.99. Lots of darker colors. Ah, there's the ABs. So we have two bags. I don't know how well you can see that. We've got the sparkly 141, that's the white. And we have two bags of that. So quite a few there. Let's see if we can find the other AB in this one. There it is. 129 is a sparkly yellow. And then these are the bags with lesser amounts, although that this strand looks like it's also full. So Diamond Art Club does their bagging by size or amount of drills rather than DMC numbers. So that's why you're seeing things completely out of order here DMC wise. But I don't usually kit up, especially for bigger ones in DMC number. I kit up by amount of drills and pick the containers accordingly. So those are the drills. Let me put them in this chair back here. And let's take a look at the canvas and why I was so drawn to this one. Ha, oh, butterflies. Look at those butterflies. Dragonflies. And you can see kind of the sharper outlines that Diamond Art Club is known for for their rendering. Instead of the, the more smoother, large color graduation that you can get with over 200 colors. So we have birds over here and it goes from dark at the top down to the browns and lighter colors down here. I love the flow here from the oh whatever these waves are with the the peacock feather here and that's where I can see myself blinging this up is doing something with that peacock feather to make it more sparkly. I love the hair and the wings 
and her face. Look at her face. Because this is so large, you get a lot of detail rendered in that face and the hair. And then we have another bird here. Looks like almost some fall leaves down here. And more of the doves. So this is Spirit of Flight from Josephine Wall Diamond Art Club. And this one is big, 106 by 70, but not an unreasonable amount of colors. And one of the things I've been behind on is there is currently a J Wall event going on from Angie and Debbie, if you're familiar with their pages. I'll try to maybe link to them in my comments. But I haven't even started anything. I haven't filled out my entry form. And the kit that I bought has over 200 colors to kit up. <laughs> and I'm just not feeling it this month. So I still want to join in on the event. Just not necessarily for any prizes. But just to support the other diamond painters out there. And our love for Josephine Wall. So this one seems like a much more reasonable thing to do. So I will probably kit this one up later tonight. I, I'll probably be up late tonight working on this. But I've also promised to get my Art Dot sticker uh, videos up. Art Dot was kind enough to ask me to review their stickers. And I did a couple videos on those so far. But the final video, the one I'm most excited about, I just haven't gotten to yet. And that is using the stickers on various things to show you what you can do with the stickers, uh, both for kids and gifts, Mother's Day gifts, Father's Day gifts, gift ideas for kids, but also what diamond painters might find useful to do with those stickers. I've had a lot of fun. They're good quality stickers, good quality kits so far. I'm really happy with it. But I did take a break from it. I will probably finish those this evening and then go straight into kitting this up. So that means tomorrow and the next day I'll start uploading videos and talking about what to do with the sticker. So it's still coming, I promise. It's just been kind of a, a hectic weekend because we have torn apart our living room because we got some new living room furniture. One of the neighbors down the street was selling theirs and was a good deal. And since we have four dogs, we don't necessarily buy new couches and new uh, furniture for our living room all the time because the dogs are just going to be on it and it's hard to keep them off and it's hard to keep really nice furniture really nice for too long. So I tend to buy used furniture, but our couch had seen better days. So we got a brand new really cool couch with recliners and a table and cup holders and all sorts of stuff. And it's electric. It plugs into the wall. So looking forward to get getting that finally together the couch is just in pieces but it happens to be right there but we had to tear up our whole living room pull all the old, old furniture out get it to the dump clean floors all that good stuff so my diamond painting mess is right there <laughs> and right there and just about everywhere you can think of because i haven't been able to organize it yet so I'll get there. I'll get there. No worries. It's not a race. But that's why, along with stuff going on at work and other stuff, I think I just need to do something that really makes me happy. So I'm going to go into my happy place tonight and at least kit up this one. So all that to say, uh, thank you for joining. If you haven't seen some of my other videos, if you're new here, I do a lot of unboxings and some reviews, a few whip and chats, but I'm not good at just kind of talking to myself for an hour. <laughs> Although the end of this video, I seem to have been doing a lot of that. But I also try to do things that are a little bit more unusual, like cross-stitch conversions and what I'm going to do with resin and, and other things with these Art Dot stickers that I have. I am an Art Dot affiliate, and those stickers are on sale, so you can see the links there in my description if you want to go check them out. And I will stop here so I can get to work on some of this stuff. So I appreciate you watching. Be kind to yourself, especially if you have days where things aren't going that well for you. Be kind to yourself. 
as you be kind to others as well. And we'll catch you next time.